Hey everybody, we've got another quick one for you on making a worm for the worm drive. So we'll do a little grind and a little turn. We're gonna do the grinding on our Hoffman grinder. It's a manual grinder and generally speaking, to make this worm and make any thread really, you need a straight sided carbide cutter. We've chosen to have a 20 diametral pitch hob and with a 20 degree pressure angle and that means we need to have a 20 degree on each flank sided cutter with a very specific tip, flat tip dimension. Here, let me just show you. So we'll set it to 70 degrees here. That'll give us 20. You'll see how we're setting it in a second. And then down here on the bottom, there is a relief angle we can set. It's set at four degrees. Our relief is, uh, our, our lead angle is a little more than three degrees. So we'll have plenty of relief here. And that's exactly where we'll put the tool right there against that block. Uh, got a little spacer to hold it there. Using a not so fancy, nothing fancy piece of carbide. Here's the same setup for the left flank. The relief goes the other way on the table and you're off to the races. That's the way it looks on the other side. And then when we get done, it's a point and we need to grab, grind just a little flat on the tip. And we just set it back to zero degrees to get that tip nice and flat. Needs to be about 34 thousandths on the tip. And the relief isn't great on the bottom, but the angles are precisely 20 degrees and it's got that little tip cut right into it. So now we set up the lathe. The lathe has a 20 DP, levers B and C are actuated. We're gonna actuate uh, lever one. It's, uh, we're gonna turn and use the uh, half nuts. It's got a special gear in the headstock and the speed is four. There are the levers, there's the speed, there's the half nuts. There's our blank in the lathe. We set zero on touch off or however you prefer to thread. There it is. There's a uh, pass after a few turns, really kicks up something on this aluminum. We're not gonna make the final worm out of aluminum. We're just giving this a test cut and we'll, we'll be able to uh, double check it against our worm gear that we made the other day. Here's kind of our last pass on it. Uh, we did a number of spring passes past this, but here's one of the final passes, just getting a few shavings off. Here's our fit test. I think you saw our worm gear from a previous episode. Go check that out if you haven't. Link above. Fits really good. You can just feel how it rolls in there. There's some deburring to do, but uh, that's a nice fitting and nice looking worm and worm gear pair. Pair. Here's a simulation of the exact physical pair of gears that we made. Hope you enjoyed that. Now that I've made these gears. I wonder who would be interested in making a gearbox to put them in.